वेलकम टू ईपीची पाठशाला आय एम इंट्रोड्यूस दी माय सेल्फ एज आय एम डॉक्टर तंदियानी मे असोसिएट प्रोफेसर टेंट फॉर डिग्निटी स्टडीज अँड ऍक्शन स्कूल ऑफ सोशल वर्क टाटा इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ सोशल सायन्स मुंबई नाव लेट अ टॉक अबाउट द टॉपिक एट अ पार्ट ऑफ द हिस्ट्री अँड आयडियोलॉजी सोशल वर्क वी आर फोकस ऑन द मॉडर्न नंबर थर्टी थ्री इंटरनॅशनल सोशल वर्क असोसिएशन बट प्लीज रिमेंबर देर इज अ डिफरन्स बिटवीन इंटरनॅशनल सोशल वर्कर अँड इंटरनॅशनल सोशल वर्क असोसिएशन बिकॉज मेनी पीपल गेट कन्फ्यूज अँड देअर फोर इट बिकम्स अ डिफरन्स नाव वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द इंटरनॅशनल सोशल वर्क असोसिएशन वॉट इन इट वॉट इन दॅट शू मी नो दॅट ईच प्रोफेशन ॲव असोसिएशन सेम ऑल्सो अप्लिकेबल टू सोशल वर्कर ऑल्सो अँड देअर फॉर दे हॅव अ लोकल असोसिएशन स्टेट लेवल असोसिएशन नॅशनल लेवल असोसिएशन अँड इंटरनॅशनल लेवल असोसिएशन इन दॅट इंटरनॅशनल लेवल असोसिएशन फॉर एक्झाम्पल ऑफ दॅट इंटरनॅशनल फेडरेशन ऑफ सोशल वर्कर और इंटरनॅशनल असोसिएशन ऑफ स्कूल ऑफ सोशल वर्क और इंटरनॅशनल काउंट ऑन सोशल वेलफेअर दे आर देर आर मेनी मोर इंटरनॅशनल बट वी आर फोकस ऑन द टू थ्री फॉर डिटेल इन्फॉर्मेशन बिकॉज द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू वेल रिलेटेड टू द गाईडलाईन प्रिन्सिपल कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट स्टँडर्ड फॉर द सोशल वर्कर अँड इट इज अप्लिकेबल टू ऑल कंट्री अँड देअर फॉर वी आर फोकस इज राईट नाव टू दी थ्री वन ओके अँड we are covering this module at the what is, i already mentioned standard principle and what is the role of this one now what is the objective by the end of this module what we will learn she will learn about international association social work association not international social work please the try to remember this difference between these two point this one and what is the definition of the social work and what is the purpose of that and what is the principle standard and it would help you because it provide direct direction to practice in more effective way while working in the marginalized population okay. now let us talk about that one example of the international social work association that is the international federation of social worker now these are talking about uh, they have a core value like a social chanti human right social development now don't worry about that there is a ppt you can read all this one i'm just try to summarize of each ppt so that it will help you to understand what each slide talk about this one and they at the mention that they have a hundred members of all over the world and they are out to connect with united nation at the concerted and i also mentioned the web site so that you can also go to the web site and which uh, this one second part is that uh, international association of school of social work they also quality education promote the social work but remember whatever the association are there there are three issues social work education training and reacher the three main area any association focus on and therefore don't get confusion about the different association more or less they have a similar work this one and i also gave the website you can also look at that this one now what is the definition of the social work because each country give definition of the social work and it is based on their context culture values belief socio economic political context and there for the definition of social work vary from country to country but the basic principle core values are same and therefore it is also mentioned about international definition of social work like, like that promote social change problem solve empowerment of the people uh, who belong to the marginalized and vulnerable group social work intervention all these are 
thing, this one. Now, what is the purpose of the social work? Basically, we know that three areas. One is intervention. Second is the developmental project. Third one is preventive. Fourth one is protective. And fifth one is therapeutic. So anywhere you go, the role of the social worker or purpose of the social worker remains the same. And based on the core value at the social chanti, human dignity and human right and uh, what is the, this one uh, sorry I, I, I could not remember this one they they use this value as a framework while working in the vulnerable and marginalized population and therefore they were social challenges inclusion and then uh, challenge the barrier and then educate the people how to utilize the services for this one or how to form a policy and program that would be benefit to all kind of the population and that how to encourage people to form a advocacy and that how to engage in the political social action to impact on the social life of the people come from the marginalized group this one and so that you will get more and less idea about that more or less, it is the same role or purpose of the social work. Now, it is also promote the respect or plan and organize the program. You have to plan the program in such a way that it can benefit to all kind of the vulnerable population. And this is very difficult task because we talked about the diversity within that group. Second one, each individual has a different need. And therefore, we have to keep in mind of each individual need. Kind of intervention that each individual requires. And therefore, we have to plan it that a way that all people will get more benefit of this program. Now, when we talk about this one, we already mentioned value framework, but while working with the people with mar uh, people come from marginalized group, they also adopted international convention. For example, of that Universal Declaration of the Human Rights, it started from 1948 to now, and now you know how the paradigm shift in the field of the social profession from charity to welfare to human rights approach. And therefore, that international convention gave strong support to the social worker to practice this one. Or there is also civil and political right, there is economic, social, cultural right, there is elimination of the racial discrimination, there is also elimination of the all forms of discrimination, they also talk about the convention of the right of the child, they also talk about the a tribal people convention. All our international convention which focus mostly various marginalized population. And therefore, International Social Association adopted this convention to as a guideline so that social work can understand it means and apply it to the practice one. Now, principle of the human right. Now, when we talk about the principle of that association, there are two principles. One is human right and human dignity. Second is that social justice. When we talk about the human right and human dignity, maybe caste, class, culture, gender, any kind of the marginalized group, for example, tribal, disability, old age, child, whatever it is there. We, the social worker, had to learn how to respect each individual and how to promote dignity for these people. And it is not very easy because what kind of the values, what kind of the ethics we adopted influence our practice while working with the people. And therefore, we are going to discuss about the values and ethics in the later model. But we have to remember that it is not that male duty. We have to learn how to 
convert it to the practice and therefore the PPT already mentioned very clearly how we can promote uh, human rights and human dignity by participation, self-determination, identify and developing training. You can read all these PPT so that we will get clear picture about that. Now the second principle is about social charity. Now you know what is the meaning of the social charity. Many oppression, discrimination, negative attitude, all are form of the social exclusion and that create injunctive. And it is very difficult to identify where are all kinds of the social injunctive occurs in our daily life. We have, we as a social worker have to learn how to identify social injunctive. Because we may not do deliberately, but it happened accidentally and consciously, indirectly. And therefore, we have to imbibe this value in our thing. And therefore, when we talk about the principle of social charity, we have to first understand where are the negative attitudes, where is the discrimination, and how we can remove the barrier. And not only that, we have to recognize the diversity also. Whether the child or whether the adult one, whether the elder one or with the caste, class, culture, different type of the marginalized, we have to learn how to respect the diversity so that we can practice to offer charity to these people. And that, so first one is that undertone discrimination. Second is that about the diversity. Third one about the resources. What kind of research is available to us? How we can distribute this research into the equal? Some may get more, some may get less. But we have to justify this. So we have to understand on what basis we are distributing the resources. But we have to try to distribute equally this one. Then what are the law policy program which is again for the welfare of the marginalized people. We have to challenge it by creating the advocacy, by lobby this one, or by open forum this one, or by using the mass media, or by writing the newspaper, or by organizing the people who are affected because of the policy program. And make the government aware about the policy and change the policy. And how to work together for that and this is very important part of that social charity because it looks like a very simple but it is not simple and therefore we have to understand how tough job as a social worker has now when we talk about the global standard now what is the standard this one this is the rule this is the behavior this is what we are supposed to do this is the instruction kind that is given for the social worker and it was developed by International Federal, uh, Federation of Social Worker and International Association of School of Social Work. They came together, they did join in a TPU effort and they developed document and before that they conducted the conference, they asked uh, many people and uh, organizations to participate for developing document and therefore we are using the document and, this, and we can go to the website of the IFS or IIAW and then you will get clear picture about uh, document they mention very clearly and that then now you may be wonder why we need the document? We have an ethic, we have a value, we have a code of ethic. But why we need this one? But there are gaps. Sometimes there are areas which we could not pay attention why develop a code of ethic. And therefore, based on the experience in the part, it was fair need to develop the standard for social work. Now one reason is that we have to protect the client or a service user. Why? Sometimes we say that I am a social worker, I know what is the best for you, you have to accept what I say. So we are trying to 
operate the client. We are trying to pressurize the client to utilize the therapy. Client may not what, but we are trying to. And therefore, it is important to understand that we have to respect the client as the dignity self determination. And therefore, it is mentioned in the standard that we have to protect the client who are the most vulnerable population. Second is that what is the impact of the globalization? We have seen the time chain, therapy to chain. First, it was the technology. Now, it is the globalization. How it affects and how it can include in the social work curriculum. So, remember, when we talk about the standards, it is not that only for the client. We are also talking about the client. We are talking about the social worker. We are talking about the social work student. We are talking about the university who run the social work course. We are also talking about the different stakeholders who are involved in that social work practice. So for all the different stakeholders, we have a standard. And they, and they spell out what we need to do. And therefore, it becomes a very clear guideline about this one. And that uh, they have to talk about the university, how to develop the contact and collaborative work between the different university, or how to encourage social worker from one country to another country. Maybe there is an exchange program, maybe there is a dialogue between them, maybe uh, they can get job in another country. That also part of this one. And then one important is that. What is the boundary between the social worker and non-social worker? Anybody come and they say that, oh, we are also doing social work. What is that? They don't understand what is the meaning of the social worker. And therefore, it is very important to draw the boundary between the social worker and non-social worker, this one. And that partnership and uh, exchange the program, Maybe international student can come to any other country, staff can come, there are a lot of fellowships are there. And then you can utilize this exchange program to learn how Chochever practice different from one country to another country based on Chochu economy political context, this one. And that uh, it is also important uh, to enable international federation of Chochu workers. International Association of the School of Church over to develop the guideline to play the facilitation role and therefore somebody should be there to encourage to bring all these people together and encourage and facilitate the process and that is why we require the standard this one and uh, now if you look at the module there are eight to nine modules among the thunder. I'm not going to explain everything because each uh, thunder has the eight to ten depth theme. And I'm not covering everything, but you will get a clear picture. Please uh, go back to the, I already mentioned in the reference among the website, so that you will get a clear picture among that, what are the document talks about this one. The first one they talk about the school purpose. When we talk about the school, that uh, uh, what is the, that uh, what is the interest of the Tarvi teacher? The first word is that client. How to protect the client from pressurized to utilize the Tarvi or prevent it to utilize the Tarvi or how to encourage the client for the self determination, how to maintain confidential. All these process are to come. That was the first standard talk them about this one. Second, talk them about that uh, program. What kind of the program is there? That we as a social worker should develop knowledge, process, value, ethic, and how it apply to practice this one. And therefore, it is also important to understand when you implement the program, you have to consider the economy, political, social, cultural context. And therefore, one program in one country may not be effective for another country. And therefore, we have to keep in mind for Third one is that 
curriculum in the field education. Now at the Choche worker, all of us know very well that field work is very important. Without field work, we will not learn what is the problem, how to deal the problem, tell me. And therefore, in that case, what is the curriculum in that field education? How to work with the client? How to involve client in the program planning? So that means it is a partnership approach. It is a trained perspective. We are adopting this word. And the second one is that based on the practical experience, how this practical experience can incorporate into the theory word. So it is a theory to practice thing and it is based on the student social worker to client services. Now uh, another curriculum is there. Uh, when you talk, how you develop the curriculum? Case work, group work, whatever it is there. So, if you talk about the curriculum development, you have to understand why you are developing this particular curriculum. What is the rationale behind that? How it is connected to the local, state level, national level, global level issue? How to connect theory to practice so that the social worker will get knowledge from that curriculum and will be able to apply the practice. So not only the theoretical information but also what is the method of practice, what are the paradigm, how to understand, to utilize this method, this is also important aspect of it. The fifth one is that among the professional staff, who will teach the course, the university staff, faculty. What, what is the, their role? Not only the teaching the student, but also guide the field work to permission, or guide the teacher, or guide the recording. There are so many areas is there. But not only the teaching part, but they have also to deal with administrative work. They have to deal with the student, partner, pro professional problem. So how to do all this work? Sometimes into policy also affect the faculty or student partner problem affect the student performance and that create trouble for the faculty. There are so many issues and therefore there is also guideline for the university staff or faculty for this one and that social work today. It is not that responsibility of the faculty to create positive environment for the student. Students have also their own responsibility. So that means they have to learn what is the theoretical input, how to apply it to the field work, how to evaluate your own performance. Sometimes some students say that I know everything. Professor does not know. This is not a way. It would not help to improve your evaluation or your performance. And therefore, students have also responsibility to improve the performance. Another is that administration resources. Now, when we talk about the faculty, student, who did all these situation? University. And therefore, university administration, policy, program, that affect the faculty and student. And therefore, there is a coordination or a positive environment between all the three stakeholders to enable uh, positive learning for the student. And that, another one is that cultural, ethical, ethnic diversity and gender. Now why we are talking about the cultural, ethnic and cultural diversity? If you look at any university, many of them come from slum area, many of them come from the upper caste, or many of them come from upper class, or many of them come from the rural area. So there are a lot of diversity. And how to take care of all the diversity and involve all of them in that process. And therefore, we have to make an effort to involve everyone with diverse background into that program. And it is not very easy. And that uh, code of conduct, values and ethics code of conduct, we already mentioned that. What is the values? What is the ethic? We are going to discuss in the next module. And why code of ethics is important? It is also applicable to any social worker across the world. 
बिकॉज दिस प्रोडक्ट एट इज हेल्प द चोचे वर्कर टू टेक ऐक्शन वॉट इज द राइट एंड हाउ टू टेक करेक्ट डिसीजन वाई हेल्प इन द क्लाइंट देर फोर दे ऑल जस्ट पेल आउट अमाउंट द कोड ऑफ एट इज नाउ मीन मी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अमाउंट द एट टू नाइन चांड इट वॉज ऑल तो फाउंड दैट देर इज द डॉमिनेशन ऑफ द वेस्टर्न कॉन्सेप्ट यूनाइटेड यूनाइटेड किंगडम यू एच ए ऑस्ट्रेलिया यूरोप दे हैव वेल डेवलप टीम इन केस ऑफ द चोचे वर फील्ड एंड देर एक्सपीरियंसेस आर टोटली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम थर्ड वर्ल्ड कंट्री एंड देर फोर इट वॉज फेट नीड दैट वेटर कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ चोचे वर्ल्ड शुड नॉट इम्पोज ऑन द थर्ड वर्ल्ड कंट्री and therefore what precaution they took and it is mentioned in the module d2 and that and both are already mentioned very clearly that important to be given to the diversity like cultural gender values be the social economy political content and that um, and and therefore if you have any question you are welcome to contact me or you can go to the reference I gave the reference to the module, and website is also given so that you will get detailed information. But remember, please, if you feel that this is a boring subject, this is not. If you take some little interest, you will enjoy. What is the meaning of each word? Because we have a different experience, and that guideline helps us how to act. Thank you a lot.